If you look at our chemical sector alone, we represent around 5% of total carbon emissions. Now that is counting scope 1, scope 2 emissions. If you were to include scope 3 upstream and downstream, it'd be significantly larger. If you look around you in this room, about 95% of the products are being made with the help of chemicals. So we do play an even bigger role in enabling decarbonization for the whole industrial sector. If you look specifically at the hard to abate sectors, what you see is that the solutions technically are there. What is stopping the transition is actually the cost of doing it. I think companies can do a lot in terms of the products that they're buying. So what we need is first to create a market. We first need transparency. What is actually the carbon footprint of all of these products? And then secondly, hopefully consumers are willing to pay a premium for low carbon products. Now, if that's not the case, then it's either incentives, what you now see with the IRA in the US, or it is actually taxation carbon taxation. Both can work and actually both might be necessary. What is very critical in the chemical industry is that we work together. So if you want to decarbonize a complete value chain, it's very hard for one player in the industry to do that alone. So what we do in LCET, low carbon emitting technologies, in this platform which has been created by the WEF, what we do here is with a group of industry players, we collectively decarbonize an entire value chain. And this spreads risk. If you look at the current projects, we are working on recycling. On the one hand, mechanical recycling, where you collect plastics and you basically make new parts from it through mechanical recycling. On the other hand, chemical recycling, where you collect the plastics and through the pyrolysis process, you basically create the pyrolysis oil, which you can feed into a cracker. And you can make the virgin products then uh, from that. Specifically in the LCET platform, we are working on low or even no carbon proteins, so not based on animals. We are doing this with the help of green hydrogen. I'm optimistic because I see that the technology solutions are there. What we do need to recognize is that a lot of these come at a cost premium. Climate change is happening. Fighting climate change is a necessity. So we basically have to make it happen.